if I make it to the cemetery, I might have a chance. That recruit could have made it far. Too bad he turned out to be a traitor. Yeah, it's a pity. But the other new recruit is even better. Do you mean me, Corporal? <laughs> Keep dreaming. Is it true that Sheikh Patrosh Potter never fought in the war? They say that coward sends his troops to do the dirty work while he lounges in his tent. How many wars has the Colonel been in? More than I can count on two hands. Really? Sheikh Patrosh Potter huh? never fought in the war. They say that coward sends his troops to do the dirty work while he lounges in his tent. How many wars has the Colonel been in? More than I can count on two hands. Really? Can I get that soldier out of there? Perhaps I should match the green wave frequency with the white one. If the wave frequencies were identical, I suppose it would work.
Mr. Radio on? This is my chance. Call you? Crumbs. The main gate is guarded. Oh, that spotlight is driving me crazy. It's a miracle that it still works after that fall. For what's never gonna fix it. There's a window in the bunkhouse that's been broken for months. Hey, don't you dare criticize the colonel. Find a way to get those guards out of there. I hope this gets them out of there. Oh. Uh, darn spotlight! Are you okay? Yes. At least it stopped blinking. Let's check it out. Now's the time. I'll finally be getting out of here. It's locked. Tintin, we have good news and bad news. The good news is that we've managed to beat you at the main gate. The bad news is we have no key for the locked main gate. Crumbs. Let me think. Bingo. Walk to your left. Then turn right and wait for me outside a half-opened window. I know where I can get out. Hey, the corporal asked me to get some barrels out of the warehouse. Can you give me a hand? Of course. My shift ends in two minutes and seven seconds, during which time I'll clean the tables. And when I finish that, I'll have seven minutes free to help you. Crikey, it's locked! Because I have to be brushing my teeth at 4.57 to be in bed by five o'clock. Okay. Nutter. All right, I've got two minutes and seven seconds to get out of here. Guarded doors am I going to come across? The 
bunkhouse. The keys. Mm, I need something to help me reach them. Once again, a broom crosses my path. it. Don't turn around. I've got them! Huh? I'm sure I left my keys here. Hey, Ahmed, you didn't take my keys, did you? No, I haven't seen him. Help me find them. I can't waste a second of time uselessly. Yeah, sure, but when I ask you for help, my time is precious. Never ask for more than I can give you. All right. Close that door. Uh, can nobody close it? I'll get it. I'll get it. Where's my teddy bear? Where is he? There you are, Fluffy. Phew, that was close. broken window. I need to open it when the guard isn't looking. Why do socks love getting lost? Where did you hide, little sock? Beloved sock, where are you? Are you there, little sock? at last. <gasps> oh, Snowy! I've missed you so much. I'm so glad you're alive. Thompson and Thompson, I'll... we'll talk later. Follow me. should be safe here. Thank you for helping us. But... Who are you? I'm Nadim Hafiz. Brave Bedouin spy. Faithful servant of Pashash Pasha. Son of sand. Heart of camel. Oasis of desert. And sworn enemy of Colonel Fuad. If the Sheikh entrusted my beloved Altair to you, then you are one of us. So Snowy trusted you, even though this city is rife with enemies? Sometimes animals seem to have a sixth sense about which humans they can trust. But perhaps it's because of the affection he feels for Altair. My beloved and always trustworthy horse. How do you know Thompson and Thompson? I was in the city center when I saw those two idiots. 
they were walking around dressed as Jellababi Bedouins, like it was no big deal. Here in Abu Din, where we Bedouin are public enemy number one. How can I escape from Abu Din? Tomorrow, when it gets dark, I will take you to the city gates. Be careful not to get near the airfield. It is always guarded. Will the Sheikh and his allies win the war? No doubt he will. Patrash Pasha, son of sand, heart of camel, oasis of desert, will defeat the dictator. Generations and generations of warrior blood run through his veins. How long have you been undercover? Longer than I'd have liked. But I would live a lifetime here to serve Patrash Pasha. Son of sand, heart of camel, oasis of desert. Before we speak further, are we sure that we haven't been followed? You're right. I'm going to watch out the window. Thompson and Thompson! Oh, thanks so much. We arrest you in the name of the Lord. What? But why? Because you're wanted for drug trafficking and gun running. And that is why we braved a thousand dangers to snatch you from death. I want to speak to your superior. He'll listen to me. How dare you flout our authority? We are here because our superior trusts us. Right? They've been setting me up since the cruise. Don't play innocent with us. But I am. Yes, sure you are. And we are two second-rate agents. Listen to this. I found cigars in Colonel Fuad's office. Ooh, that is a problem. Yes, so now you see? Yes, his health will go to the dogs. You're under arrest. They found us out. Crikey. It can't be. Just when we had it. You go on the roof. Hurry. Open the door. And you? I'd never forgive myself if I let Altair here. Go on. Don't get caught. Go. Oh, they've escaped. Find them. You won't escape, Ali Bai. Now how are we going to get out of this? Find them, lazy worms! Don't let them get away! Yes, yes Corporal! Don't leave even an alley unguarded! The whole army is looking for us! Excuse me! Ow! That hurt! Lock all the exits! What are you doing climbing a palm tree? Do you think he's a monkey? If you don't find him, you'll face the Colonel's wrath! Yes, Corporal! you could get away from me? There he is! Catch him! Don't let him get away! Too late! Ali Bai! We were destined to train together! Traitor! Sorry, chum, but I have to get to India. One more step and you're a dead man! Don't be frightened. I'm not here to hurt you. I would never hurt you. Leave us be! Out! 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 Out!
stop right there! Did you think that you could get away from me? Search that house! Search every corner! I hope this holds. He's on the roofs! After him! Search every corner of the city. Don't skip a single house. That plane is our only chance of getting away. Who was in charge of guarding? How do we get that soldier out of there? I'm going after him. He won't get away. Colonel Fuwa's mother is on her way. Remember flying a model like this? Oh, don't worry. Flying is like riding a bicycle. Look, Nadim Hafiz and Altair. Yourself, Snowy. I'm going to try a few tricks to lose them. Oh. Let's go. Brace yourself, Snowy. I'm going to try a few tricks to lose them. Oh. Let's go down into the canyon. If we fly into open sky, they can shoot us down. Brace yourself, Snowy. I'm going to try a few tricks to lose them. <laughs> Let's go down into the canyon. If we fly into open sky, they can shoot us down. Look, Snowy, these air currents are helping us lose them. <laughs> Soldier, head for the canyon. Captain, it's really dangerous for me. Brace yourself, Snowy. I'm going to try a few tricks to lose them. <laughs> Let's go down into the canyon. If we fly into open sky, they can shoot us down. Brace yourself, Snowy. I'm going to try a few tricks to lose them. <laughs> Let's go down into the canyon. If we fly into open sky, they can shoot us down. Look, Snowy. These air currents are helping us lose them. <laughs> They don't know we can hear them on our radio, too. Well, we'll see if they can keep up with us. I think we've lost them. See if you can still see them. What? Keep up with us. I think we've lost them. See if you can still see them. What? They're still there? Dash! Captain, this is a colonel flood. Whoever knows me, keep me dead. Do you hear me? Oh, Perfect, Colonel. You better. The less you want to end up underground, too. I swear on my mother. Oh, Perfect, Colonel. 
crumbs. I can't see anything. I didn't think they'd be so determined to chase us. Snowy, we must get to India no matter what. There we will find the answers we seek. <laughs> Snowy, I'm going to do flying stunts to get us out of this one. <laughs> Shake these obstacles. Hey, Captain, my training is paying off. I am zipping around here like a regular hummingbird. Crumbs. Stop babbling and keep your eyes on them. Look out below. Hummingbird on the attack. Hey, Captain, my training is paying off. I am zipping around here like a regular hummingbird. Crumbs. Keep your eyes on them. Look out below! Hummingbird on the attack! Why haven't you shot them down yet? Well, he sure is a great pilot, Colonel. There are two of you, and you have fighter planes. Useless. Oh, affirmative, Colonel. If we can make it into open sky, we'll be safe. Oh. Just trust me. We can use these clouds to trick them. Captain, then come out into the open. Shoot, soldier. Shoot. Yes, sir, Captain. This will be the final test of my training. Snowy, hold on tight. We'll act like they hit us so they'll leave us alone. Uh -oh. Captain, I hit them. They've lost control. Well done, soldier. That's no team. Snowy, they've really hit us. Jump. Sometimes uh, I just get a little confused. No more talk on the matter. 
when they find out we survived, Colonel Flood will go bananas. And now, off to India. <laughs> After crossing half a continent, we were close to our destination, the next spot on Fuad's map. But the fuel gauge was reading empty, so... Brace yourself, Snowy! Here we go! <laughs> the trees cushioned our fall, so we ended up with just a few bruises. Luckily, the plane came with its own first aid kit, so all we needed was the book of instructions. Especially after it landed on us. We set off to find the Indian hideout of the kiosk plot. But the jungle had something else in store for us. Kiosk symbol. Here. That's amazing. Mm, fresh paint. We've got a trail to follow. Who on earth could have painted the sign? Professor Sarcophagus! You're alive! Hello and good evening. Hmm. Pleasant weather we're having, isn't it? But enough chit chat. I'm putting the finishing touches to my new palace. But at least tell me all you've gone through since we parted on the Red Sea. Shh. Not so loud. I'll tell you, but you must swear to keep it a secret. I am. Hero Ramesses! Second! <laughs> oh, start raving bonkers. We need to find him a doctor. And shelter from the storm. Have we met before? Sorry to bother you, sir, but... My friend needs help. I'm afraid he's lost his... Behold, Ramses the Second! Lord of the Scourge of the Hittites! A very, very naughty boy! <laughs> <laughs> Expecting a patient, Dr. Finney? Not really, Major. So, your friend's name is. He's Sophocles Sarcophagus, a renowned Egyptologist. Come on, Mr. Sarcophagus. Who do you think you are talking to? I'm Ramses the Second, builder of Abu Simbel. Yes, yes, of course. Now, come with me. 
Welcome to my humble abode, Mr... I'm Tintin, reporter. I'm happy to count you among my guests. Dinner will be served very soon. Finally, some luck. A shelter from the storm, a doctor to help the professor... Ah, <sighs> time to relax and make some friends. Don't you think, Snow? We? Crop disease increases farmers' famine. Opium smuggling on the rise. Hmm, could both stories be connected? Hello. How? Such a surprise. I, I mean, a surprise because you weren't expected at all. Uh, right? <laughs> I think I know you. What, me? Hardly. You've got no proof. Aren't you Zlotsky, the well-known author? <laughs> um, yes, uh, that's me. Just a poet. Well-known. I just write. Nothing else. <laughs> Brave Dave Braves the Plains, a Wild West epic super scope blockbuster. Oh, what a colorful character your friend is. He's not always that colorful. Thankfully, I am Mrs. Snowball. And I am. He is my husband. We came here from England in search of antiques to decorate our manor. Thank you. 